Hello, welcome to another episode in Android application development tutorial series. So in the last episode, we already installed all the needed components for start Android application development. So this is the welcome page of Android Studio. Uh, you can start Android Studio from start menu. Uh, here is the Android Studio folder. So you can start it from here. Uh, now we can create a shortcut in desktop open that file location and send it to desktop so now we have a shortcut available in desktop so now we can start android studio uh, so this is the welcome page of android studio so from this page you can start a new android studio project we can open an existing Android Studio project and a lot of other options are available here. <clears throat> so here we are going to create our first Android application. So we are going to create our first Android Studio project. So select this option, start a new Android Studio project. So in this page, you have to specify an application name. Here you need to specify the company domain that is very important and here is the project location if you want to change you can change and if you need Kotlin support you can select Kotlin if you need C++ support you can select it from here so this is your package name so first you need to specify a name for your application so this is our hello world app So here I specify my application name. Here is the company domain name. This is very important. If you want to publish your application in Play Store, this domain name make your application unique in the Play Store. You know that there are millions of applications available in Play Store. Among that application, to make a unique place for your app, you need a domain name. You have to register a domain name first, then you have to specify your domain name here. And this is your package, your package name contain your domain name. So here I'm going to change that one abc.com. Suppose this is my domain name and here is your package name com.abc.helloworld app. So this is a very important section. If you want to publish your application in Play Store, you have to specify a valid domain name here uh, and click next. So here you have to specify what type of application you are going to make. So if you want to create applications for uh, phones and tablet, uh, you can select this one. If you want to create applications for VR, for example, for smartwatches, uh, you can select this one. If you want to create applications for TV, here is Android Auto and here is Android Things. So our first Hello World application is for Android phones and tablet. So here I select the first option. So this is the minimum requirement for the application, minimum uh, support for the application. So now this application support from Android version 4.0.3 and above. That means it is not possible to install this application on Android version lower than 4.0.3. So for every Android version, there is an API level is there. So for the version 4.0.3, the API level is 15. This is very important. So if you connect your computer to an internet connection, Android Studio automatically fetch the available device percentage in Play Store. So if I make this application with the minimum support of 4.0.3, almost 100 percentage of device currently available in Play Store compatible with this application. So that is very important. So here for this application, the minimum SDK version is 4.0.3. That means API level 15 and click next. So from here, uh, you need to select an empty activity. So if you are a beginner in Android, uh, this name will be a little bit strange because in Android, for example, um, uh, you are WhatsApp chat, chat page is an activity. The command and that interact with the user is called an activity. Your Facebook log, login page is another activity. Uh, your Facebook home page is another activity. So an application contain at least one activity. If it has a user interface, 
your application contain at least one activity so you have to select an activity here so here I'm going to select empty activity and click next so for an activity you have to specify two things for each activity you need two things first one is a Java class and second one is a layout file so here uh, we are going to use Java as programming language so this is a Java class name main activity is a Java class name and here there is a layout corresponding to the Java class called activity main in Android the layout are specified using XML tags so here activity main is a name of an XML file and here you have to select backward compatibility that means for android lower versions of android for getting the latest to feature support android introduces some libraries for getting uh, for getting support from all the older versions of android uh, you have to select this one that means android studio automatically adds some library into your android studio project for getting support for android older versions and click next so here we create our first project in Android Studio. Uh, this window is because of that. So click finish. So now Android Studio start build the project. Uh, for the first time it will take a little bit time. So here Android Studio allowed the project now but the build is failed here. So here is the tips window you can close it now. <coughs> so here the Android project build failed because here some platform components are missing. So you need to install the missing components. So here Android Studio prompt you to install Android SDK platform version 26. Uh, you need to accept the license agreement. Click next. Now here Android Studio start downloading the Android components. Here it is Android SDK platform 26. Uh, now the installation is completed and click finish now android studio start build the project again still there is a missing component uh, it is the build tool 26.0.2 so you need to install that one again So here the downloading is started. Uh, it is Android SDK build tool 26.0.2. Uh, now here the Android SDK build tool installation completed. Uh, now click finish. Now again Android system automatically start build the project. So here grid the project sync in process. So this logging happens only for the first time. <coughs> uh, here Android Gradle still download some components. Wait a little bit time.
Okay, and finally here the project sync finishes and the project build successfully. Now it is building again. I think it's almost finished. And finally here the gradle build finished. Okay, so now our project is ready. Here is the layout for the project. Uh, here is our layout uh, that contains some text on it. Uh, it's a simple hello world text. Here is the blueprint for the layout. Uh, you can simply change the layout using this design surface. Uh, now here it is design plus blueprint. I simply change that one into design. This is our application design that contain. Uh, this is the application title hello world app and here is the a text view on it uh, here is the project window this is the project window uh, this is the palette window so this is the uh, Android studio design editor okay so now these are the folders available in our project so if you are a beginner in Android all these things will look strange don't worry uh, you can understand all these things in the coming up episodes so you can find out all the layout within this layout folder uh, within this java file here is our package com.abc.helloworldapp that contain the main activity so here in this application there is only one activity each activity need two files one is a java class and another one is a layout file so here in android all the layouts are represented using xml so here is our class this is a simple java class that extends some class and here is an xml file so at the bottom of this window you can easily you can easily switch between the text and design so now i move it to text so this is the xml code segments corresponding to this layout and this is the design okay so now this is a complete android studio project now you can touch this project in your real device or an android virtual device so here in this episode we successfully create our first hello world android application in the next episode i am going to show you how to touch this application on a virtual device and on a real device thank you for watching for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now